amen, wants to hear. Another word from the Lord. I'm talking about picky saints. Being picky. And that's the one that God blessed you with. Go ahead and let the church say amen. Lord, I've been praying for one thing. I've been praying for this husband or praying for this wife, but that still ain't enough. Why is it when God still sends you, yo, help me, <laughs> you still picky? I still got complaints. Well, I got a news flash for some of us that, that God never told us that who he sent our way would be perfect. You know, when I go back to the garden, Sister Lisa, everything goes back to the garden. When I think about Adam and Eve, Adam didn't have no choice because God created his wife for him as he created him. And you didn't hear Adam walking around and say, Lord, she ain't fine enough. Lord, she ain't strong enough. I don't know if she's beautiful enough. Adam accepted his wife as she was. Mm. And a lot of us are missing our blessing because... He ain't tall enough. She don't look good enough. We so busy looking at the outside that we can't even see the inside. So I want to talk to the picky saints for a moment. And when God bless you with your person, your man, your wife, your husband, stop complaining about what God has blessed you with. You know, if somebody sitting up right now that lost their husband, Wishing they hug them was still there. It's somebody sitting up, wife have passed, and they wish that their wife was still alive. And they are stuck with the kids and trying to figure out how to move forward. And you got people that's got a good husband and got a good wife and still complaining. Hmm. Lord, I know I prayed for this woman, but yet and still she's, she's not enough. Hmm. We looking for a perfect person. Last time I checked, it was no perfect people. It's not a perfect church. And if it is perfect, it ain't going to be perfect when you walk in there. Somebody will catch that later on. We are all imperfect people. And it only takes God to take two imperfect people, bring, bring them together, and keep them together. Pick your saints. Mm. Go ahead and let the church say amen. Some of us are going to stay by ourselves forever because I'm waiting on a, a fairy tale. She needs to be at least six foot long hair. She need to be making 120000 a year. She better be driving a Bentley. She better be having this. She better be having that. Well, what are you bringing to the table? Hmm. We got all these I wants, I wants, I wants, I wants. But God has blessed you with what you need, and it still ain't enough. Hmm. When somebody done died and went on, crossed on over in the glory. See, I was thinking about my girl, Nessa, and J.D., and Nessa made a very strong comment. And big shout out to you, Nessa. Love you, girl. You said your wife and your husband was for on earth. Mm. See, you are so right with that, sister. Because we, we so caught up in the skies, the heavens, that God also promised us to have so much on earth. And we miss it. I don't know who keep walking around and talking about I want to stay poor forever. I want mine. You heard Mama JT in the video. She said, I want mine. I want mine too. See, if I, if I don't get it on this side, I'm not going to be mad. Because if I don't get it, I know that I got eternal life promised to me. Hmm. See, we sitting up trying to figure out God. Stop trying to figure out God because you can't figure him out. You know why? Because he said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. Picky saints. And we got so many ministers trying to make themselves have a first lady. Oh, I know if I can get her on that front row, she'll be a good first lady. She knows how to sing. I like the way she dressed. And we going out to folks for all the wrong reasons, like with men. You got women doing the same thing. I want that brother because he can sing a song. I want him because he can play the piano. I want him because he can preach. Well, what does God want for you to have? And here's another thing. A lot of people are praying for God to bless them with it. And when they get it, they can't even deal with it. They can't handle it because they are not ready. Mm. Lord, I've been praying for a long time. See, this is what I like about Hannah's cry. When Hannah was just crying to have a child all those, all those years. And when she cried out, she was crying out so hard. And God answered her prayer. But it wasn't on Hannah's time, was it?
was it? It had to happen on God's time. But not only did she get blessed with one son, y'all know the son, she got blessed with some more because of her, her obedience. See, sometimes you just got to wait. See, we don't want to deal with God when he say, nope, not yet. We want to just hear him say yes. And we, when we hear him say no, we find ourselves getting angry, don't we? Why not, God? You promised I can have this. See, JT at a point in his life where he's just waiting on God. But when I say wait, I ain't mean I'm just sitting down and not doing nothing at all. See, we got people saying, oh, if I just take two steps, or if I make one step, he'll make two, and they won't even make the first step. And when they make the second step, they stop. This is what's wrong with most saints. They done sit down because they got salvation now. Well, I'm saying that. I ain't got to do nothing else. Let me tell you something. The Lord wants us to get up, get up off our side butts and work for his kingdom every day we get a chance. That's why we are here too, to reach others to work. But we got too many picky saints. I got to pick what Sunday I'm going to church on because I don't want to listen that Reverend such and such. I'm not going to church that day because the choir ain't singing my song. I'm not going to church today because I don't have on a new suit. I don't drive that new car. I don't want to pull up in my hoopty beside Brother Jones because Brother Jones is going to see my oil leaks in the driveway. We got too many excuses now. But trust me, when I say serving the Lord, it's past the building. But since I'm in the building, I wanted to make that point on another reason why a lot of folks won't go to church. Because they're sick of the way the church is running. And then they're tired of the hypocrites in the church. And some stand at home because it's just not their Sunday. Mm. So y'all see me. Today is Friday. I don't care what day of the week it is. I serve the Lord every chance that I get. Because you know what? JT didn't have to wake up this morning. See, I'm pumped up. I'm fired up. And I just want to share because maybe... Just maybe I can help somebody in this video who's been praying and complaining. Hmm. See, I always tell people if you're going to pray, why worry? And if you're going to worry, why pray? Because worry ain't nothing but a lack of faith. When you worry, you just it's just like you saying, God, you ain't going to do it. See, I don't know about y'all, but I don't tell God he ain't going to do it. Now, I might say, I'm waiting, Lord. Because, see, the Lord knows us better than we know ourselves. He know the, the hairs that are numbered. He, he numbered all. He know all the hairs are numbered on my head. So what made me think I can out thank God? Mm. So with that being said, are you praying and complaining, or are you satisfied? Or are you happy with who God has blessed you with, or are you the one sitting up angry at God because Lord, I haven't got married yet, and the Lord knows us. He knows we're not ready. As a matter of fact, when He got you holding on, He might be saving your life. Y'all can catch that, peace. Let the church say amen.